The film industry is one of many sectors thrown into unprecedented chaos by the COVID crisis. Now, after months of delays, two major new blockbusters are finally being released to audiences, but in ways Hollywood said it never would. In the sign of these ever-evolving times, movies are starting to be released in cinemas and straight into our homes at the same time. But it does come at a hefty price, not just for viewers, but especially for our local cinemas. Weekend Sunrise movie man Jason Jabba Davis has more. Every family must contribute one man to fight. You're a war hero. You've already made many great sacrifices. It's one of the biggest cinematic casualties of the COVID crisis. My father cannot fight, so I will take his place. Disney's big budget live action remake of Mulan was meant to be released in March. But after being delayed several times, the film is now going straight to Disney's subscription streaming platform, Disney Plus, but for an extra fee. The pandemic is still doing so much damage in the US. They can't open cinemas in as many markets as they want to. And I'm sure they looked at the success of Trolls World Tour and thought, you know what, let's just put it out on streaming. Even if 10% of our Disney Plus members stream it, we make $200 million. And that's money they don't have to share with cinemas that would traditionally take a 50% cut. From September 4, Aussies can stream Mulan exclusively on Disney Plus with premier access for an additional cost of $34.99. That's on top of the existing membership fee of $8.99 a month or $89.99 a year. I think $35 is probably a little steep if you're on your own or even maybe in a couple. But if you are a family and you've got about four or five people or if you can invite some friends over if it's safe to do so, then it does provide pretty good value. But with Disney unlikely to release its streaming data, we may not find out just how lucrative this move is for the company. It comes after the hugely successful at-home on-demand release of Trolls World Tour during the height of America's COVID lockdown. Who was that? The truth is, there are other kinds of trolls. Whoa, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Trolls World Tour, I think, took a lot of people by surprise. They weren't expecting it. It was kind of unprecedented. When it was released on demand in the US with a premium rental price, it made something like almost 100 million US dollars in just the first three weeks alone. The film's Australian release was delayed, but it's now expected to premiere here in cinemas only on September 17. Another film that's been through the COVID ringer is Christopher Nolan's latest mind-bending epic. Tell it. It'll open the right doors. Some of the wrong ones, too. Originally slated for release in July, Tenet was billed as the film to bring cinemas back from the brink after they were forced to shut down for weeks. Time travel? No. Inversion? Name it and pull the trigger. You're not shooting the bullet. You're catching it. The pandemic in the US led to delays in its release. It now opens in Aussie cinemas on Thursday with special screenings this weekend. So check with your local theatre. It is huge. It's very large scale in the set pieces, in the sound, in the effects. And I think if you watch that at home, you're just not going to get the same experience. I mean, it's visually spectacular. So that movie was made for cinemas and it absolutely should be seen in cinemas. With no end in sight for the health crisis, you can expect more new films on demand for a price. But it's unlikely to spell the end just yet for cinema releases of the big blockbusters. This is about survival. It seems bold. Bold, I'm fine with that. I thought you were going to say nuts. So $35 for one movie, like that's a lot if you're at home on your own I'm doing sorry, it. I'm sorry, that's outrageous. I know you're going to say you go to the movies, you spend 100 bucks as a family. Well, if I take a family of five, I know, yeah. but it's, that's a lot. And do you, even, do you get to keep it or do you just get to watch it once? Well, it's We're on not your sure. TV. No, I'm aware of that, but do you own it if you buy it for I'm 35 I'm not sure. Like, mm. you know. You're under-researched for this segment. <laughs> It's lovely to be in your league again. Um, <laughs> <laughs>